Two days before the conference, Dennis has been urgently called to the U.S. Um, uh, for negotiations with the State Department, which is why he's not here, but we have him on video. And let's just see what Dennis has to tell us through YouTube. I haven't seen it, so let's see what happens. Hi everyone, my name is Dennis Gorski and uh, I'm the co-founder of 1991 Open Data Incubator. This is the non-for-profit project that was founded by a Ukrainian NGO called Social Boost. Four years ago, we as an NGO started the open data reform in Ukraine. We have helped the government to pass the necessary legislation to make the open data happen in Ukraine. We worked with, together with the Cabinet of Ministers to spot those 300 different uh, registers and huge data sets that are mandatory for publishing in Ukraine. And we were doing hackathons all around the country, really many, more than 20 national events and maybe slightly less number of local events. We were trying to spot the most interesting topics and attract Ukrainian civic tech actors into personal security, agriculture, energy efficiency, and many other topics. So it seems like right now we decided that hackathons doesn't work like they used to do before. Uh, and uh, we organized 1991 Open Data Incubator. It seems like this is a tool that every country should start doing. Uh, it's a point where the government really meets IT companies and meets civic tech actors. Together they produce new startups and they mix together big data and open data and these tools really work and they work fine. Out of 12 startups that we released uh, last month, four did found new funding, grants and uh, VC money. I mean, one of those startups has raised $150,000 for a part of the carry in the company. It seems like it really works. Today we had a meeting at the United States uh, with Techstars, and right now I'm in New York, the Apple City. Uh, this is Brooklyn, and uh, it's almost 3 a.m. here, and uh, I'm really happy to deliver this message to all the participants of the conference in Switzerland. So, uh, talking about United States, it seems like they have a huge problems with the uh, consumption of the open data because government is uh, very supportive here they publish a lot of data but the community doesn't use it that much i really encourage all the participants at the conference to uh, get closer to your communities and start doing what it seems like we are doing well in ukraine so in brief it seems like the government uh, is producing a lot of public services. One of those services is obviously the open access uh, to information and uh, especially to open data, which is the information in machine-readable format. And uh, it seems like the government cannot produce all those services that civil society, uh, that local businesses really need. And here we advocate for the decentralization of production of digital services that are based on the government data. So it is not really uh, those services that the government provides, but sometimes uh, these are independent NGOs or companies that are being born at the edge of a high usage of big data and open data. So, uh, in Ukraine, we decided to base our assumptions on the theory where uh, pilot clients have to be uh, able to pay for services or products that the company is producing. And uh, these companies that we have spotted are primarily uh, based in industries such as agriculture, energy efficiency, 
and infrastructure slash logistics slash transportation. And uh, we decided to uh, create the thematic incubation cycles where people are submitting their ideas and uh, precisely we get 160 plus ideas per one call for proposals and uh, we help them to find funding. We have structured the mentorship program where there are lectures, there are mentorship hours and uh, there is the customer development period where people basically can go into fields and test their products and services on pilot clients. And this program worked really fine. I mean, we are starting new offices in other Ukrainian cities. We are doing partnership projects of university incubators in one private and one state-owned university. We will uh, start a new office in Moldova later this summer. And we will be happy to share all our achievements, all the methodology and everything we could notice which might be really useful for the participants of the conference. We have a team of uh, nine, 11 people who are working on the project full-time and even more part-time workers. We have become the primary partner of uh, Ukrainian government and uh, it seems like things are working really fine. Uh, I will be happy to see everyone at the Open Data Conference in Madrid later this year and to share all the achievements, all the methodology that we have. So, uh, to give you a brief, uh, the, K, the, uh, the projects that we accept in 1991, uh, these are agricultural startups. For example, people take some data sets about chemical contents of the agriculture field combine these data sets uh, obtained from the government with the information that they get from drones and from drones they get the temperature and humidity of the soil and together they put all these layers uh, into one app and there is a business planning app for farmers or for example there is a startup that is uh, taking the information about the quality of uh, the roads and uh, they sell it to uh, logistic companies because those are interested in the most uh, fuel efficient and repair efficient routes. Or there is a startup that is non-commercial, it's a new NGO. We have an e-procurement reform in Ukraine and uh, it's more than uh, several hundreds thousands records per day. No export commission can analyze this. Even if there is corruption, you cannot eliminate it. So, some folks that were working at the banking scoring agency, they know how to spot those people who are trying to, uh, trying to take bank loans and they are not really uh, fair. So, uh, there is a super huge, super complex formula of uh, how to basically spot the potential corrupt uh, in procurement cases. And they call this system anti-corruption monitor and this is uh, the e-procurement scoring system that the government of Ukraine is using right now. So all those fascinating startups became possible because we were supported by the Western NAS fund, which is the independent fund but funded by USAID, because of Microsoft that has donated the office space to us, and because of many other small but really important partners such as, uh, let's say, uh, IT schools that uh, give us interns and these people become co-founders later or they just being employed by those startups. So this is a pretty unique experience and uh, right now we are working on uh, uh, several reforms that will make startups more viable in Ukraine. And that the and startups that use government data should be more viable. They should have a tax uh, reductions and many other privileges. At the same time, we are trying to uh, 
persuade local and international investors that those startups really matter and they make sense because they already show traction, because their pilot clients can pay, because local angels uh, try to invest money. And um, that's a huge case. I'm really happy to share all those experiences. Uh, my email is somewhere in organizer's pockets and uh, I wish you a good conference and uh, have a nice day, have a productive time and see you in Madrid at Open Data Conference. Or you can see everything what we do at 1991.vc. Thank you. That was Dennis Gursky from Night in New York. Bye.